Good morning, all of you. Welcome back to the channel. So here we're starting with the analysis for 16th of November. So India enters into the final. So this is an update. And uh, then uh, there was this disaster, basically deep gorges. So Pravesh, what are deep gorges? Deep gorges are basically the... <clears throat> A uh, wide gap into the landforms, particularly there is a feature of Himalayan and valleys. So deep gorges have a process to become a deep gorge. So what actually happens is that um, in the mountainous regions where we have the valleys, so the time we have the formation of the valleys, like V valleys and U shaped valleys, in that the rivers flow, and when <clears throat> the rivers flow below the uh, you know. Um, you know, comes out of the mountains or the hills. So that creates rills, small rills on the land. And slowly, slowly and gradually that rills becomes wide and that forms into a gorge. And eventually it forms into a deep gorge. So that is deep gorge. Okay. And safety measures, ke hum baat kare to we see ki, you know, crash barriers mm -hmm. jate, deploy kiya jate, specifically hilly states. Mein. But, uh, you know, the nature of driving, obviously, now you need, obviously, skilled drivers when you specifically public transportation. Ki baat kar rahe ho. So, there also, in uh, this case, mein bhi yehi bola ja rahe ki it might be possible that the vehicle was not being driven properly. So, speed limits come hongi. Obviously, we need to adhere to that. So, in hilly states, mein bhi we can install the CCTV camera, which uh, we are seeing that they are deployed in Delhi to check the speed and issue the chalans. No, Amanti, I think uh, it will not be, uh, you know, feasible to install the CCTV cameras because if we talk about even Delhi, so even Delhi, ke andar bhi jo CCTVs hai, wo bhi operational nahi hote hai, so operational cost is a major concern. So what we can do, uh, that is financially uh, legible also. So uh, we can ensure the permits of the vehicles who are uh, going on the hilly areas, especially the traveling buses and the uh, Permit accidents bold on just nature of driving jo hai, usko aap regulate or control kaise karoge? Uske liye kya measures loge? So wo main pehle complete kar deta hu. Wo permit basically is par jaise ki kahi baar jo gaadiyan hoti hain, wo hilly areas mein chalne ke liye fit nahi hoti hain. Lekin jab wo upar jaati hain, to kabi kabar unme brakes ke bhi issue ho jaate hain. Jo brakes hai, wo dhang se lag nahi paate hain, jiski wajse gaadi slips ho jaati hain. So, इस वजह से मैं बोल रहा हूं कि उनको पूरी उनकी जो चेकिंग है चेकिंग होने के बाद उनको परमिट दिया जाए ताकि वो ऊपर जाएं और दूसरा आपने बोला कि ये जो इंडिविजुअल डिपेंड करता मतलब ड्राइविंग जो रैश ड्राइविंग करते हैं तो इसमें आप देख सकते हैं कि जैसे वो ऊपर जा रहे हैं तो आप वो अल्कोहल ड्रिंक ना करें उसका आप प्रॉपर चेकिंग करके उन्हें ऊपर भेजें दूसरा ये कि जो स्पीड ड्राइविंग है उसके लिए आप जो है मतलब एक स्पीड लिमिट एंश्योर कर सकते हैं और वहां पर जो ट्रैफिक पर्सनल ऊपर होते हैं इन केस अगर उनको लगता है कि अगर मतलब ट्रैफिक जो स्पीड है वो ज्यादा है तो देन दे कैन यूज अ मैकेनिज्म ऑफ चलान आल्सो ठीक है So mission has been launched by the Prime Minister for most backward of the scheduled tribes so yes they were talking about the basically Birsa Munda's birth anniversary. So, Prime Minister is there in Jharkhand's Khunti area. So, PVTGs, India, there are total 75 PVTGs. These are primitive tribal groups. And we discussed about the challenges and the concerns around their safety and survival. So, it is worth rupees 24,000 crore rupees. So, PM PVTG development mission has been launched. And Viksit Bharat Sankalp Yadra has been focused on the government scheme saturation to last mile in the tribal districts. So we are seeing rise in the goods exports by 6.2%. So that is uh, again a positive news, positive development. Because we were seeing globally because of the instability, because of the geopolitical factors and the wars and economic slowdown also, we were seeing that, uh, you know, goods exports, uh, they were not seeing much, uh, you know, increase in demand from these uh, global markets. So this time we are seeing key exports are rising. 
and trade deficit, although it has widened to an all-time high of 31.46 billion dollars. So it might be basically because of imported inflation also, it might be widening. Second reason can be that we are importing in terms of volume, we are importing more compared to what we were exporting. So that gap also increases plus the prices of what we are importing if that also increases. So the trade deficit gets widened. Yesterday we were talking about that the pulses prices, they are also increasing and we also import pulses. So that is one small component of it. So here the size is $31.5 billion. So this is an all-time high. So for Chhat Puja, we are seeing different states or the preparatory, preparatory steps that they are taking. We are seeing the guards, they are being cleared. And basically the idea is that devotees, they offer prayers to the sun god on this occasion of Chhat Puja. And this is basically majorly, it is a festival of the state of Bihar. And definitely we see it is celebrated across different states. Specifically in the states where we see the, you know, the migrants or migrating to the South Indian states, or we are seeing them, you know, there in Delhi also. So, Hussein Sagar Lake, it is there in Hyderabad. Mansi, it is an artificial lake or it is a natural lake? Uh, according to him, it's an artificial lake. Okay, yes, it is an artificial lake constructed by the former Nawab of Hyderabad. Okay, then. So when we talk about growth in the state of Bihar, so like what, you know, specialized areas and sectors are being promoted by the government. So industrial investment promotion in textile and leather policy has been announced. So Invest Bihar, basically government is providing some incentives in order to attract more investment in these sectors like interest subvention scheme has been started, employment generation subsidies, their capital investment subsidies. So basically government is providing more different types of subsidies and tax incentives. So basically initiative is to develop this into a textile hub and also for the leather industry. So MSME's role is going to be very important. So here, Divya, headline inflation kya hoti hai? Headline inflation mein food or jo oil wagera hoti hai, jo bhoj jada volatile products hoti hai, wo bhi include hoti hai. Thik hai. Or dousri type ki koansi inflation hoti hai? Core inflation thi, jis mein ye product involved nahi hoti, jis mein volatility jada hoti hai, kyunki unko measure karna hoti hai. और जो हम CPI index अगर हम calculate करते तो इसमें हम कौन सा measure लेते हैं headline लेते कि core inflation लेते हैं headline ठीक है so amid the cooler headline inflation food price pressures it poses a risk so still we are seeing that food prices are more volatile right now so there is this uh, the risk which is more associated with the food prices Monetary Policy Committee of the RBI, which decides the policy repo rate, which is the repo rate. Uh, so when we talk about its composition, so it is, uh, it comprises of six members. So three are appointed by RBI and three are appointed by the government. So this is done on bi-monthly basis. So as per uh, the MPC, 5.6% is the average 
इन्फ्लेशन का जो प्रोजेक्शन है एंड एक्सक्लूडिंग एडिबल ऑयल्स हुज लाइक थर्टीन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर ड्रॉप इन द प्राइस दैट ऑल्सो प्लेड अ रोल इन मॉडरेटिंग द कंज्यूमर प्राइस एंड टैक्स सो एडिबल ऑयल प्राइस दे आर ऑल्सो कूलिंग डाउन यूक्रेन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट की वजह से वी सो स्पेसिफिकली द सीरियल इन्फ्लेशन गोइंग अप एंड रिटेल इन्फ्लेशन हैज ऑल्सो सीन अ कूल डाउन एंड इट इज रिकॉर्डेड एट फाइव पॉइंट एट एट परसेंटेज and households that have seemed to have adjusted to this continuous recent rise in the living cost by pulling back on the discretionary spends and downsizing the essential consumption as per the industrial output trends are likely to remain cautious rather than loosen their purse string so basically household ke liye jab hum uh, economic mein term use karte hain disposable income ki hum baat karte hain so disposable income uh, divya kya hoti hai pravesh aap bata sakte ho what is disposable income aunty again okay ashik you can tell what is disposable income basically uh, disposable income are those income which are uh, your your audio is very low ashik it is very low अब थोड़ी सी इंक्रीज हुई है ओके डिस्पोजेबल इनकम एंड डोज इनकम व्हिच आर इन हैंड ऑफ द कंज्यूमर आफ्टर द टैक्स डिडक्शन हम्म टैक्स के बाद जो बचता है वो वो हां डिस्पोजेबल इनकम होता है सो वी आर बेसिकली सीइंग कि यहां पे अगेन इन्फ्लेशन एक्सपेक्टेशन के बेसिस पे भी हाउस होल्ड जो स्पेंडिंग डिसीजन रहते हैं उसके बेसिस पे भी यही लाइक एक फैक्टर रहता है सो वी आर सीइंग कि सिंस यू नो वी कैन से कि फ्यूचर में इन्फ्लेशन एक्सपेक्टेशन थोड़ी हाई हैं सो राइट नाउ आल्सो इवन लाइक बहुत लाइक प्रॉपरली एंड यू नो मैनेजमेंट फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट की हम बात करें सो दैट्स हाउ डिसीजंस आर बीइंग टेकन कंज्यूमर्स आर नॉट यू नो स्पेंडिंग ऑन द नॉन एसेंशियल या नो लग्जरी या मटेरियलिस्टिक थिंग्स so this is over the legalization the same sex marriage and here basically the article is saying that there is a grave error in the law so we recently saw ki supreme court said ki uh, it is basically the parliament hold be you know legalizing is legalizing this thing in the form of a law and uh, initially supreme court would not be doing this thing and we have talked about this a lot of number of times as well different judgments navdeep singh johar judgment of 2018 where uh, the supreme court upheld that it decriminalized the homosexuality and sex under article 15 of the constitution takes it uh, takes in the sexual orientation so the state refuses to recognize marriages of the homosexual couples solely on this ground that it violates the constitutional guarantee of non discrimination then we also talk about ki special marriage act bhi hai 1958 so there basically it allows for the intercaste marriages and this is somewhere also related to basically the uniform civil code also so jo reforms ki hum baat kar rahe hain how they would be you know amended unme bahut sare like changes karne padenge even in the personal laws as well so how that would be you know actually done brought to the ground level usko implement kaise kiya jayega so let's see what would be now the next step by our legislature so we see obviously federal frictions ki agar hum baat kare so political sense mein we are seeing ki political ya federal frictions ki wajah se whether it is between state and state or state or union we see ki it also impacts the economy as well so recent years we talk about frequency or intensity jo hai disputes between the union government and states that have increased like chaya baat karo interstate 
वाटर डिस्प्यूट्स की आप बात करो या इट इज रिगार्डिंग द जी एस टी कॉम्पनसेशन बिटवीन यूनियन एंड द स्टेट्स और वेदर इट इज रिगार्डिंग द फाइनेंशियल डेवल्यूशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ द फाइनेंस कमीशन सो एंड अगेन बिटवीन स्टेट्स वी ऑल्सो हैव टेरिटोरियल डिस्प्यूट ऑल्सो लाइक वी हैव इट बिटवीन द महाराष्ट्र एंड कर्नाटक ओवर बेलगाम सो दे दीज आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्प्यूट्स विच आर देयर एंड economic cost of such aberrations arising out of the homogenization the social sector policies functioning of the regulatory institutions pe impact hota hai extended powers of the central agencies they are long lasting so even uh, you know in the context of cbi also we have that general consent to wahan pe bhi we are seeing some kind you know some states have withdrawn the general consent given to the cbi so these are different nature and आई डोंट थिंक सो इसको और ज्यादा डिटेल में करने की जरूरत है औशक अगर यहाँ पे आपको और कोई इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन रेज करना हो या कुछ और एस्पेक्ट डिस्कस करना हो नहीं मानसून हाँ मतलब यहाँ सिंपली ये बस बात कर रहे कि इसका इकोनॉमी पे भी इम्पैक्ट डेफिनेटली होता है सो बेसिकली वी आर सींग लैक और वीकनिंग ऑफ दी कॉपरेटिव फेडरलिज्म और यू कैन ऑल्सो से कॉम्पिटेटिव फेडरलिज्म की स्पिरिट में चीजों को नहीं लिया जा रहा है so why are is coaching centers they are being proved by the ccpa so ccpa is a central consumer protection authority so recently we saw ki unko notices issue kiye gaye hain regarding the unfair basically advertisement practices which they are there to and using basically they are misusing that and also for the unfair trade practices also uh, basically unke upar 1 lakh ki penalty bhi lagayi gayi hai 20 institutions ko notice issue kiya gaya tha so what was the observation so we see that ccpa uh, broad elaborating on this broader mechanism with the play uh, so basically basically ye hai matlab advertisement ke around uh, uh, you know to attract more students so basically it is misleading advertisements under section 2 of the consumer protection act jo action liya gaya hai and advertisements only took mock interviews for these institutions basically toppers ki agar aap baat karo if they have taken only the mock uh, interviews they are you know advertisement mein aisa dibbe kiya jata hai ki they are their students matlab they have taken the foundational courses yeah that was yeah matlab ye jo specific information hai ye nahi display mein hoti hai jab aap advertisements ki baat karte ho so ye yahan pe aur kuch to important nahi hai सो बेसिकली जो साइज है ऑफ दिस मार्केट दैट इज सो लार्ज की दैट इज बाय जो अनफेयर प्रैक्टिस है इनको रेगुलेट करना एंड प्रोविट करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज ऑफ द साइज ऑफ द मार्केट एंड ऑब्वियसली इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स और एस्पेरेंट दैट ऑल्सो गेट्स अफेक्टेड बिकॉज दीज आर मिसलीडिंग एंड अनफेयर दे आर नॉट ट्रांसपेरेंट so financial action task force the team in india to hold on site review meeting so f the fatfs basically task is uh, to stop you know money laundering and financial terrorism stop karna and uh, the headquarters are there in paris oecd ke jahan pe headquarters hain and there are different list like gray list hai black list hai so pakistan is there on the gray list as of now earlier it was there on the black list and so aap log bata sakte ho ki black list mein abhi currently kaun si countries hain man se basically ko north korea sudan okay iran also i think hum check karna padega so tomorrow basically we'll be seeing opening of the global south summit so global south summit uh, global south ki jo countries hain unki kya basically demands agar aap batao ki like kaun se areas mein what are their major demands or what reforms are they asking for oshik so basically hello am i audible yes you are audible okay basically there are several demands in the global from the global south first is 
a multilateral institution should be promoted and there should be a reform in UN for inclusion of the uh, representation of the South, global south for example african union unko unsc ki seat milna chahiye yes. second would be uh, equity in the multilateral institutions such as wto on the principle of uh, psycho uh, psycho uh, psychotherapy sanitary measures jo hote phytosanitary isme equity chahiye phytosanitary ha sahi kare phytosanitary measures measures then third would be uh, against the climate change because each and every country are doing their efforts according to the common but differentiated responsibility but mm-hmm. the impact of the climate change is mostly on the vulnerable island pacific island ya fir uh, poor countries etc so to ye ek issue hai and what would be global uh, trade energy and service uh, energy security energy security mein ke ga yahi areas hai मेजरली बोला तो फूड सिक्योरिटी हो सकता है एक और ऐड कर सकते हैं ऐसे भी फूड इन्फ्लेशन हो रहा है वर्ल्ड वाइड और देर इज स्टॉकिंग ऑफ द फूड बाय द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज और फिर ट्रेड टैरिफ भी बढ़ते जा रहे हैं डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज में देर इज अ कार्बन टैक्स आल्सो एज प्रपोज बाय द यू ईयू तो वो भी एक कंसर्न है ग्लोबल साउथ का ठीक है so greenhouse gases hit record high in 2022 so un world meteorological organization has said ki the levels of three main greenhouse gases the climate warming carbon dioxide methane and nitrous oxide they all broke the re- records last year so such levels of heat trapping gases it will mean further temperature increases and more extreme weather and higher sea levels according to wmo so despite decades of warnings it ni issue ki gayi hain from the scientific community thousands of pages of reports issue ki gayi hain dozens of climate conferences hui hain but still we are seeing ki things they are escalating further matlab mitigation ya jo hum steps le rahe they are not in that proportionate level so global mean temperature in 2022 was 1.15 degree celsius above the 1850 or jo is time period mein jo average temperature tha to side mein aap dekh sakte ho again china us ne pledge kiya to step up the climate efforts so abhi matlab hum isi stage mein chal rahe hain abhi efforts liye nahi ja rahe hain on ground jo jitne hame actually lene chahiye and kal bhi humne baat kari thi even if like 200 countries also together if they take actually the steps that are needed then also hame sirf 2% tak ka hi you know impact dekhne ko milega so things are basically moving towards you know they are being irreversible getting irreversible uske baad obviously it would further amplify the impacts gold drives the trade deficit to new high so starting maybe we were discussing about trade deficit to i think specifically goods trade ke case mein here this is given in context of gold also so it also drives the trade deficit to new high so india monthly goods trade deficit widens 31.5 billion dollars eclipsing the previous record of 29.23 billion dollars and increase in the imports of gold oil and electronics that has increased the deficit plus जितना हम गोल्ड इम्पोर्ट कर रहे हैं एंड वैल्यू ऑल्सो गोल्ड की इंक्रीज हुई है तो उसकी वजह से बेसिकली वी कैन से कि इट इज काइंड ऑफ अ डबल एज्ड स्वर्ड मतलब दोनों तरीके से नेगेटिव ये वॉल्यूम टर्म्स में भी और वैल्यू टर्म्स में भी फिट इंक्रीज सो दी डेफिसिट वुड वाइड एन अप इट वुड इंक्रीज सो रिकॉर्ड इम्पोर्ट्स देखे गए हैं एंड डेफिनेटली वी कैन से कि अभी इस टाइम पे हम ज्यादा गोल्ड इम्पोर्ट क्यों करें बिकॉज इट कैन बी बिकॉज द फेस्टिव सीजन ऑल्सो and india may we have although issued the sovereign gold bond scheme jo hai but still people they you know prefer more buying the physical gold in terms of jewelry or even the gold biscuits 
सो दैट अवेयरनेस पीपल डोंट हैव दैट यू नो काइंड ऑफ ट्रस्ट मतलब दे सी दैट टू बी मच मोर रिस्क हियर बट दीज बॉन्ड्स आर दीज आर बैक्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट तो वो अवेयरनेस अगर जनरेट होगी तो वी माइट सी यू नो ह्यूज इनफ्लो और ह्यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन दीज सोवरन गोल्ड बॉन्ड्स आल्सो So this we've seen India enters the finals of the World Cup. So here, New Zealand skipper has to say that I'm trying to find the words to describe it. Basically, we saw that. Kohli, Virat Kohli, he made his fiftieth century. So you actually just admire Kohli's greatness, and he keeps getting better. Okay, Ashik. Now we can take up Indian Express newspaper. Okay, Ashik is not there. Pravesh, um. Uh... okay i will share it you can start with that pravesh am i audible मैं ऑडिबल प्रवेश दिव्या यस मैम सी ठीक है ओके सो कंटिन्यूइंग विद इंडियन एक्सप्रेस न्यूज़पेपर so we are seeing splinter group of amu students so splinter group basically aur chote group mein jab koi organization ya group divide ho jata hai to uska splinter group ban jata hai so of these amu students and alumni they are under the watch for the is links so is links basically transnational nature jo hamari internal security ko threats we are seeing basically youth radicalization ke liye because this is also we are seeing in case of students organization hai so how basically you know youth students they are more attractive they get easily radicalized so divya aap iske piche reason bata sakte ho ki kyu you know students itna easily radicalize ho jate hain क्या मेन फैक्टर है इसके पीछे मतलब क्या हो सकता है आपके हिसाब से दिव्या बोलो अवेयरनेस या फिर जिस तरह का उस टाइम पे माहौल ये सरकम ट्रांसिस होते हैं तो उसके अकॉर्डिंग हो सकता है कि पर्टिकुलर यूनिवर्सिटीज में इस तरह का देखने के लिए मिलता है तो वहां क्या फैक्टर्स डिपेंड करते हैं कि किस तरह से यूनिवर्सिटी आप इसको जनरली बात करोगे कि वी आर सीइंग यू नो एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज इतनी ज्यादा नहीं है सो इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट टू स्टे बिजी अदरवाइज स्टूडेंट्स इस इस चीज की तरफ अट्रैक्ट हो जाते हैं प्लस दी इकोनॉमिक और द फैमिली बर्डन दैट दे हैव तो उसकी वजह से भी दे टेंड टू गेट देन रेडिकलाइज इजिली बिकॉज अगेन दे आर लॉर्ड फॉर इवन the financial benefits that they would be getting if they become a part of such kind of you know terrorist organizations or the groups agar ya usko kisi bhi indirect tarike se bhi agar help karte hain so lack of uh, employment opportunities is one thing
and also popularity on social media this is also one of the factors and word of mouth okay So when we talk about sports, so here we are seeing ki tehri me basically paragliding or yeah, it's called acro because it is related to you know air sports. So tehri acro festival is being promoted. So high flyers in the world they will glide and swoop up in the air. So Uttarakhand Tourism Development Board and this is an advertisement for that. So we have also talked about ki. E-sports promotion where we see ki Uttar Pradesh is promoting e-sports and water sports we can promote kar sakte, which can be done by the postal states. So these are being taken up. So the way shadow cabinet kya hota hai? Yeah, Shivang ka bata sakte ho, what is shadow cabinet? Mujhe nahi bata shadow cabinet kya hota hai. Okay. Shivang... Mujhe bhi idea nahi hai shadow cabinet kya hota hai. Nahi, koshish karo like cabinet or shadow cabinet kya ho sakta hai. Ab ministers ka alag se group ban jaye kisi particular topic se related se. नहीं नहीं कैबिनेट जिसमें ज्यादा प्रेवलेंट था शेडो कैबिनेट सो जो ऑपोजिशन पार्टी है सपोज यूनियन में कोई पोलिटिकल पार्टी जो पावर में है देन देर इज ऑपोजिशन पार्टी तो ऑपोजिशन पार्टी भी अपना एक कैबिनेट बना लेते हैं बट एक्चुअली दे आर नॉट द रियल मिनिस्टर्स राइट तो वो शेडो कैबिनेट की तरह वर्क करते हैं मतलब एज एन ऑपोजिशन की सपोज देर इज होम मिनिस्टर तो शेडो कैबिनेट में भी एक डेजिग्नेटेड होम मिनिस्टर उनके लिए होगा जो अगेन पार्लियामेंट में फॉर यू नो आर्ग्यूमेंट्स या डिस्कशन के टाइम पीरियड में वो फाइंड आउट करेंगे कि ये हो सकता है या ये गलत कर रहे हैं सो दैट इज वॉट इज शेडो कैबिनेट इज मतलब रियल पावर्स उनके पास नहीं होते बट दे आर एक्टिंग एज अ शेडो ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर यू नो मिनिस्टर जो रियल पावर में है so we've been seeing ki yamuna river and the pollution which is there so cleaning exercises have been taken up fogging ki gayi hai lightnings have been installed so recently jo toxic foam tha jo humne baat bhi kari thi ki it is basically because of obviously industrial waste and sulfur ki concentration high ho jati hai to isliye wo foam mein create ho jata hai so chhat preparations have been done by again uh, municipality and safety of safety security of women and children that would also be taken into consideration so empowering women leading transformational changes in haryana so oshik you can take up the discussion further we are taking up the indian express newspaper so you can continue okay from... basically it is talking about the how Transform transformational changes are taking places in Haryana uh, with respect to the government, um, empowering the self help group. Basically, Haryana is boasting that it has around sixty three thousand self help group at present, and they have allocated around four hundred four hundred crore as a financial assistance. Okay. They. लेकिन 
so that the attitude of the people towards the women taking the leadership position will be changed and inclusive governance ke liye ek behtareen step hai uske baad fir attitudinal change baat kar chuke women power baat kar chuke there has been increase in the female to male ratio from 871 tha pehle 14 ke aur abhi ja kar ke approximately 932 female per 1000 male in 2023 तो आई थिंक देयर इज अ डेवलपमेंट इन दीज एरियाज फॉर द द खाप पंचायत इशू जो हरियाणा में रहता है उसमें वी हैव बीन एबल टू लॉन्च अ कैंपेन रिगार्डिंग द फीमेल फर्टिसाइड प्रमोशन ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड वेलबीइंग ऑफ द गर्ल्स एंड इट हैज मेड अ टेंजिबल इंपैक्ट ऑन द लाइवलीहुड ऑफ द गर्ल्स देन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस मल्टीफेसेट अप्रोच बात कर चुके ये उसके अंदर में आते हैं फिर विमेन का इकोनॉमिक इम्पावरमेंट कैसे किया जाए तो बेसिकली टू टाइप्स होता है या तो आप प्रमोशन कर रहे एम्प्लॉयमेंट या दूसरा इंसेंटिव दे तो इंसेंटिव कैसे दिए जा रहे हैं तो फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड पर चाइल्ड इज गिवेन एज अ चाइल्ड केयर देन ईच डिस्टीट्यूट वेमेन इन हरियाणा इज बी रिसीविंग मंथली पेंशन ऑफ टू टू तो एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट रिगार्डिंग द वेमेन सेफ्टी 34 फोर डेडिकेटेड पुलिस स्टेशन तो तो महिला थाना जिसको बोला जाता है तो इट इज दिस इट इज ऑपरेशनल एंड फिफ्टीन पर एंड अदर एप सचेस दुर्गा शक्ति ऐप ये सब लिख सकते हैं दुर्गा शक्ति वाहिनी ऐप दुर्गा शक्ति रैपिड एक्शन फोर्स हैव बीन इंस्टिल हैव बीन इनकॉपरेटेड टू इंस्टिल सिक्योरिटी अमंग द स्टेट्स वेमेन तो बेसिकली मल्टी फैसेट अप्रोच है तो हम लोग जो बात किए फाइनेंशियल सेक्टर में है फिर वुमेन सेफ्टी रिगार्डिंग द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द वुमेन इन द हायर पी आर आई एंड ऑल्सो इन द गवर्नमेंट और साथ ही साथ उनको कैसे पेंशन भी दिया जा रहा है और इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट भी किया जा रहा है और मानसिकता का भी चेंज किया जा रहा है बेसिकली सबसे बड़ा फैक्टर है हरियाणा में स्पेसिफिकली सो मानसिकता में चेंज दिखाई दे रहा है इसलिए यहाँ पे भी हमें और ज्यादा यू नो मल्टीप्लायर इफेक्ट देखने को मिल रहा है ये ऊपर ले चुके थे आई कैन कैन शेयर शेयर ठीक है यू ओके दिस गिव मी परमिशन डिसेबल्ड पार्टी ओके ओके नेक्स्ट डिस्कस कर लेंगे वैसे नेक्स्ट में कर लेते हैं लेस टाइम इज लेफ्ट यहाँ पे लेस देन मिनट इज लेफ्ट सो वी कैन शेयर द लिंक एंड वी स्टार्ट